All right, so when you're using Google Sheets, sometimes you want to use a time value in a spreadsheet. And the way that times work aren't very intuitive. So the time value function, talking about it in this tutorial, is actually going to help us understand what a time value really is in a spreadsheet. So in column A, I've listed the same value, but it's being displayed different ways. So this is 6 p.m., right? But you can show the minutes on it minutes and seconds or all the way to uh, show milliseconds and these four values are exactly the same if you use them in a formula so we'll go down these other three examples this isn't used in the u.s very often unless you're talking about military time but you can also type in values over 12 and below 24 to get a 24 hour time. So these are treated the same. So let's use the time value function to kind of prove that out and kind of show what the time value function does. So we will hit the equal sign and we'll type time value. And when we see the function help, something interesting is happening in here is saying it's wanting a time string. So it doesn't say time, it's saying time string. And even though it says time string, it can also take just valid times. And that's what we're looking at now. In a little bit here, we'll circle back to showing you time strings and we'll talk about uh, that and how that works. But let's just do time value and say A7. So before I hit enter here, if you can uh, picture the total day as one, and at 6 p.m. you've gone three-fourths of the way through the day. So when you hit enter, you get 0.75 as a time value. And that is mathematically how Google Sheets stores the value of 6 p.m. All right, so we'll drag that time value down. So that's effectively doing the time value function on all of these values. I'll let go of the mouse. I'll just delete these two that are in an empty row. And you can see it's 0.75 for all of these. And that's just a way of showing you that times can be the exact same even if they're shown differently. So these can be controlled by going to format, number, and then coming down the custom date and time. And then when you use this drop down here, you can customize the hours, minutes, seconds, whether or not it shows milliseconds. And if you leave AM, PM off, it's gonna do a 24 hour time. And what we're working with mostly in this tutorial is the time of day. There's also duration, right? So that's just the amount of time that something takes from beginning to end. Uh, so you would format those over here, but that's a little bit outside of the scope of this tutorial. So let's keep going down. Because the time value function isn't working in durations, it's converting the time of day to a decimal. So we started out by showing you how to get times into the function using a cell reference. So what else you can do if you want to type them directly in, if you just did the say 6 p.m., it's not going to work. Okay? It's going to give you an error. What you need to do to input times directly into the time value function is to surround them in quotes. And then when you surround them in quotes, it works the same, All right? So after I showed you that, let's go down to the next one. And this is where we talked about earlier, where we'd circle back to the concept that this is asking for a time string and not a time. So if you use this function in Excel, it only works in time strings. If you get a valid time, you get an error. Google Sheets, it works a little bit differently. So I think it's kind of weird that they still call it a time string, right? But it is so uh, let's work with it this way if i point it towards a47 we we'll hit the escape key we'll go over here and look at the value that's in a47 and i have a little single quote before it and that's a way to tell a spreadsheet treat this value as text even if it looks like a number treat it as text so sometimes values will come into your spreadsheet say they're uh, dumped from a database at work or you get a copy of a spreadsheet uh, and whoever else used it before you had times in there, but they're not actually being recognized as numbers. So you can tell on these because they're shifted to the left of the cell. There's no formatting applied to this. This is default formatting and text values shift to the left. But the time value function still works on these because it accepts time strings and it converts them to 0.75. 
But the catch is, and why I'm showing you uh, three of these, is that they still have to be in the valid format. So it's a little bit weird, even though they're not valid times, they're strings, they still have to be constructed like them. Otherwise, time value function doesn't know how to read them. So you will get an error if you have something that, you know, six o'clock, you might know what that means, but Google Sheets doesn't because it's not in one of these, we'll scroll back up, formats like this, all right? So we'll move on to the next example of the time value function. And that is that it can pull representations of time out of a longer string. So here you see, we want to grab the 1800 out of this longer string of characters. We'll do that by using the mid function. So it'll grab something from the middle and the string is a 67. And then we'll say, we're going to start it at the fifth character. That's where the 18 starts and we're going to go eight digits. That'll grab the entire thing. So you see by this blue font that's showing these, these blue characters that it's converting to 1800 and you can use a time value function on something like this. So we'll say time value. We'll wrap that entire function inside the time value function, hit enter, and it returns a 0.75. All right, so it can help you convert values that are coming out of other functions. And the last thing to show about this function, and it does this on purpose, but if you're not aware of it, it might cause a problem. What it does is it ignores the date value on a time if there is one. So in cell eight, A84, I appended October 8th, 2022 onto the 6 p.m. But if you run the time value function on it, it still just returns 0.75. So it's ignoring that day value if it was including it so we will go here we will do a uh, date value of a 84 plus the time value all right and a result like that 44,842.75 is the entire day and the time but if you just use the time value it purposely chops off the day and only returns the time this next video will be on a subject that comes up relatively often, and it's how to compute and return the age of something in a spreadsheet. Okay, so if you have a start date and an end date, how can you show that in years or years and months or different configurations? So I'll see you in that video. Thanks for watching. It's nice to have you along.